Today we're looking at the Gigabyte Z890 Gaming X Wi-Fi 7 motherboard, which is designed for the new Ultra Intel chips. The Gigabyte Z890 Gaming X Wi-Fi 7 motherboard is a powerhouse designed for gamers seeking top tier performance with next gen technology. It supports the latest Intel UltraSocket 1851 processors, offers high speed Wi-Fi 7 connectivity and features PCIe 5.0 slots for ultra fast SSDs and graphics cards. With enhanced power management, advanced cooling solutions, DDR5 memory support and customable RGB fusion lighting, this motherboard aims to elevate both your gaming experience and the aesthetics of your setup. The motherboard comes in a traditional box, sporting a black and orange theme. The front highlights basic information including compatible CPUs, on the back you'll find detailed product information, key features and an I.O. layout to easily verify it has the connections you need. There's also a QR code for additional product information. Opening the box you'll find the motherboard securely wrapped in an anti-static bag. Accessories include a manual, two SATA data cables, as well as a Wi-Fi 7 antenna with its own dedicated connector. The motherboard boasts a sleek black PCB complemented by silver heat sinks. White plastic accents over the rear I.O. area and white markings resembling PCB trace lines add a stylish touch to the heat sinks. Installing your storage is a breeze thanks to the toolless heat spreaders over the M.2 sockets. There are four M.2 sockets in total, each with pre-fitted thermal pads on the heat spreaders. Note there are no support pads or heat sinks for the underside of the M.2 sockets. The top M.2 socket is Gen 5 offering the fastest speeds available while the remaining three are still a fast Gen 4. The main PCIe slot is reinforced and features a quick release button, eliminating the hassle of reaching for a clasp when removing your GPU. This primary slot is Gen 5, ensuring compatibility with the latest graphics cards, while the additional slots are Gen 4. All connections are conveniently placed around the outer edge of the board, making cable management easier. On the right side you'll find four SATA headers, USB 3.0 header, a HDMI connection for an optional sensor panel, a 24 pin power connector and a 10 gig USB-C header. Additionally the motherboard includes standard USB, audio, fan headers, RGB and ARGB headers. At the top there are also three small buttons, one for power, one for reset and one for a quick flash function. The back I.O. panel is well equipped as well. You've got four USB 2.0 ports, you've got two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one display port, one USB 4 Type-C, which also comes with display port alternative mode. You've also got three USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one 2.5 gig LAN port, as well as a Wi-Fi 7 Easy Connect port to plug in your ultra high gain antenna, as well as ventilation holes for improved airflow. If you're upgrading from an older system or concerned about cooler compatibility with the Socket 1851, rest easy, this socket and mounting are designed to be compatible with Socket 1700 coolers so most existing coolers should fit without any issues. Beyond the three ARGB headers and one RGB header, the motherboard features built-in RGB lighting. The Game On logo at the top right illuminates, as does the area near the rear I.O., known as the VRM Thermal Armor Advance, 
and the area just to the right of the M.2 sockets. The BIOS interface is user friendly and similar to previous Gigabyte BIOS versions. For our testing we enabled the XMP profile, baseline Intel settings and resizable bar. We also experimented with the free preset perf drive settings which are essentially factory overclocking options. Our test yielded promising results. In Cinebench multi-core test we achieved nearly 2,500 more points with the highest overclock model compared to baseline on multi-core tests, but on single core tests we saw practically no difference. Same thing again in 3D Mark's CPU profile, we got around about 1,400 extra points overclocking using the preset modes in the BIOS. Gaming performance saw a slight improvement in frames per second, though results may vary depending on the specific game. The Gigabyte Control Center software allows you to customize RGB settings for the motherboard, RAM and graphics card. You can also adjust fan speeds and create custom curves to optimize cooling. The software provides easy updates for your BIOS and drivers, but be cautious to uncheck any unwanted software trials that could slow down your system. The Gigabyte Z890 Gaming X Wi-Fi 7 motherboard delivers a host of cutting edge features including Wi-Fi 7 connectivity, a tallless design for M.2 sockets and built-in overclocking options. While the launch of the new Intel Ultra CPUs may have had a bit of a hiccup, this motherboard will help maximise their potential. If you're looking to future-proof your gaming rig, with top-of-the-line technology, the Gigabyte Z890 Gaming X Wi-Fi 7 is a compelling choice that doesn't compromise on performance or style. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.